welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday the 3rd of October 2019. Valley Bobs joins us but you can't see her because she is behind the camera, aren't you sweetheart? She's behind the camera. Hmm. She's just jumped down. She may appear, we'll have to see. She's in quite a saucy mood as she has been for a few weeks. She's either not here or causing shenanigans. I'm using the Palladini Tarot today because it felt right and straight off the bat I already chose the cards because don't even ask this is the second time of making the video Seven of Swords popped out straight off the bat mm -mm. <gasps> Ooh. okay thanks Val Seven of Swords sneaky fox behavior this is quite a sneaky version of the card actually there's a darkening sky, of which there is in front of me now. There's a kind of sinister feeling about the weather. There's a word for that, isn't there, in English literature? And I can't remember what it is, but it's like the weather. They use it a lot in Charles Dickens, don't they? <coughs> the weather showing the mood of something. Can't, oh my God, I can't speak today. Please leave me a comment if you know what that word is. And some of you will, because you always do. So tell me, let me know in the comments section. I would appreciate it. Okay, Seven of Swords, Sneaky Fox. Next to it, the Four of Cups, the emotional meh. It feels a little bit like... An emotional manipulative energy, I think. Or someone is sick of an emotional manipulative. Someone is a bit sick of an emotional manipulative energy. It feels like that. Four of Cups, it's like, hmm, I don't know. Are you really telling me the truth? Can I trust you? Ten of Wands, in some cases, too many times has it been the case that you can't. You know, it's that feeling of each time something has gone wrong, you wear it or you carry it like a wand. Okay. We also have the five of wands and for me when you get the five of wands and the ten it's double trouble it's um five of wands of course is a lower intensity than a ten of wands but when you get the ten it shows that the five has burgeoned Five of Wands is the kind of niggle, it's the red tape, it's the reservations, it's the I'm not sure. But it does feel like it kind of spilled over into the ten. Magician in reverse, interesting card. For me, sometimes Aquarius energy. Very often manipulative energy though. It can represent a person, it can represent a situation, a thing, uh, whatever, you know. But it feels... It feels like the Seven of the Swords, Seven of Swords, I really can't talk today, and the Magician are somehow linked. Let's take a clarifier. That's my clarifier mime. Let's take a clarifier. You're having a big wash, Valentine, like you're about to go to sleep, but you're not on the bed. Oh, yes. Magician in reverse, as a clarifier, I get the Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups is when you're coming out of an emotional fog. It's a fantasy future card. It's the kind of, oh, all the good things I could have, but when you reach for them, they're not there type of card. When you get that for the Magician, I think it's someone who's spinning a yarn. Someone who's spinning a future. Someone who doesn't really mean it. Someone who might be just full of BS actually or you think they are got two queens in the reading queen of wands and the queen of pentacles i think we had two queens the other day as well the queen of wands comes up on the seven of swords often and there there's valentine again there you are sweetheart look val Bye. you're on the queen of wands a bit of cat modeling yeah so we'll wait for those royalties to flood in get you loads of dreamies 
Queen of Pentacles is a much more sensible, financially astute, level, grounded woman. I do feel like the Queen of Wands is a particularly bossy energy. It's someone who is overconfident. Sometimes when somebody has a lot of wool to pull over your eyes, they need a lot of flack to do it. They need a lot of confidence to do it. Interesting energy. Then, of course, because I always get two tens together, in the middle of the reading, the Ten of Pentacles. That's a nice, solid meat and potatoes, union, relationship, um, inheritance, money, <laughs> cornucopia, you know, stuff popping all over the place, grounded, decent, receiving card. That's at the heart of the reading. I feel like that's what you're holding out for, and so you should. One more. Yeah. We get the Dreaming and we get the Lady of Song, and these are both conscious... Oh! <laughs> conscious creating cards. There you go, Twinkle Bombs. Both conscious creating cards. They're both, the Lady of Song is when you express yourself, you have a song to sing, you have something to say. It feels very much like underneath this Ten of Wands, you get to a point or you will get to a point where you're so fed up that you feel like you have something to sing, something to say, something to express, but it isn't yet. The dreaming card is a reminder always to keep in mind your gold standard vision, okay? Don't lower the bar because this person has lowered the bar. This magician, this seven of swords, okay? You're worth a lot more than that. Mm, I'm going to take Chuck Spezzano's love cards. Hello, sweetheart. You're on your favourite spot, aren't you? Don't you love it up there? Valentine is on top of a chest of drawers. Behind a crystal ball, sitting on a curtain. Is that nice? <laughs> With big green eyes. Do you have big green eyes? Ooh. Ooh, yes. Oops. Okay. Interesting vibe. Fear of inadequacy, which is usually at the heart of manipulative behaviour. The Lust card, which can also be at the heart of manipulative behaviour. Seven of Swords, Magician in Reverse. And Irresistibility. This is about remembering your own worth and how much you are a magnet to what is good. And in order to be a magnet to what is good, you have to hold what is good like a talisman rather than focusing on what is wearisome and what is difficult and also it feels like on what has already passed interesting reading oracle card yeah i get that quite pleased to see that actually we get a change in the wind. I do, I like that. It feels like it blows the stripes off the zebra. It feels like something needs to. And we definitely, this Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands energy is a very stodgy, kind of stuck energy. I also got and forgot to mention Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is good. I like this. Coming back into the fold, walking back into the tent coming back out of some kind of penury of sorts. Keep your eye on the main prize, no matter what, okay? It's not to say that this person isn't full of you know what, or that this person isn't being manipulative, but don't focus on it if you can help it. Healing with the Angels Oracle card, we get listening. Nice piece out of it there. <laughs> listening for me is a card that you get when you are looking out for your own personal signs. It can be sounds, but it can be sights, it can be experiences, dreams, smells, whatever it is, okay? 
this for me is also to do with sniffing someone out that might just be for one person sniffing someone out how strange do leave me a comment okay let me know how that resonates with you and i'll see you tomorrow namaste